we're going to have a look at how to use basic primitive shapes to make all kinds of building and building features. So for example, this box, any of those shapes could form roofs for that box, or the cylinder could take those two shapes to form a roof for them. And then once we place the shapes on top, we can resize them and orient them in interesting ways for different effects. So here's a pagoda type uh, structure that's made that way. Here's a uh, elfin river town, quite a lot of detail and just made with those same primitive shapes. And this castle, same kind of idea. Just basic shapes combined together in detailed ways. So here's our uh, here's the kind of building that we're going to be working on today. So first, I'm going to drag out a box and I'm going to size it um, about um, the dimension that I want to make my building. And I'm going to change the color. Uh, up front here, although I could do that at any point. Now I'll drag on a box and it's a hole already, but I could change any shape into a hole at any point. I'm going to uh, make it more of a rectangular shape and then I'm going to hold shift as I shrink it down. And holding shift means it shrinks down proportionally. Next I'll lift it up to about window height and I'm going to change the snap grid value. I'm going to make that 0.25. I could, uh, that's going to allow me, or it's actually 0.5. So it's going to allow me to be a little more detailed in my um, adjustments. And then I'm going to use the left arrow key on my keyboard to push it into the building uh, one, one and a half millimeters. Uh, more than that, your 3D printer might have trouble. And then I'm going to click the duplicate and repeat button and move a second window, a duplicate, over. And then when I keep clicking that same button, it repeats that duplication and movement for me. All right, so here's my uh, series of windows. And one thing I sometimes like to do is copy an element like that and make a duplicate and then sort of park it out um, off the work plane so that if I want to reuse that those windows I have a copy and I don't need to repeat that like if I wanted to use it on the back side. I, uh, for these windows I also want to align them with the building perfectly so I'm going to select just the windows I'm going to group them now they function as one item and if I then select both the building and the single grouped windows and click the align button, now I can uh, align them with each other perfectly. So I'm going to click on the building so the windows align to the building. I'm going to click on that center align. And now I know those windows are lined up perfectly with the building. But I want to put a doorway in the middle of the building. So I'm actually going to ungroup now and I'm going to actually delete the middle three windows to make room for a doorway. Okay, I want to make an arched doorway for the middle of this building. So I'm going to drag out a box and then a round roof. And boxes always come on at 20 by 20 by 20 and the round roof is 10 high. So I'm going to just confirm there's my 20 high box and there's my 10 high round roof. I'm going to drag that round roof up with this lifting cone and notice that the upper left number when I'm dragging something that tells me how high I've lifted it this time whereas the lower right number tells me how high it is off the work plane. So now I know this time I've lifted it, uh, say 13 millimeters, but I know that it's also 20 millimeters off the work plane, which is the same height as the box. I'll select both items and use my align tool 
and looking down from the top I can click the middle black dots on both sides and that's going to align the two shapes perfectly. Now in looking at this arch shape, uh, I'm, I've decided I want to make the arch a little more peaked. So I'm going to stretch up the top of the arch here. When I select them both, I can then group them. And I'm going to hold shift while I shrink the arch here so it shifts or it shrinks uh, proportionally. I'm going to click the duplicate and repeat and then I'm going to actually shift and enlarge that shape and I'll use uh, the arrow on my keyboard to move it back a bit and I notice that the top if I zoom in I notice the top is a bit higher proportionally so I'm going to shift or shrink that down without holding the shift key and then when I click duplicate and repeat again, it just makes that exact same uh, proportionally enlarged shape. I'm going to click on the middle arch and elongate that so I know it goes all the way through the other two and I'll turn it into a hole. Now when I select all three shapes and group them, the hole is going to cut through the other two arches. And now I can move that to my building. And I'm going to select the building and the arch, but not the windows. And I'm going to say uh, align to the building. I'll click on the building so the arch is moving to the building and not vice versa. And when I click on the building, then I get that single dot. And I know it turns gray, telling me it's aligned perfectly. If I fit view and then rotate a bit or pan a bit, I can, I can bump that arch in. So now I've got a nice doorway uh, in my building. Next thing I want to do is make a roof. And uh, I'm going to make a roof with a pyramid shape. So when I click on one of the corners, it's going to tell me the dimensions of the existing building. And I'm going to actually just type in those same dimensions into my pyramid uh, shape so that I can uh, create a roof that fits perfectly on top. I'm also going to change the color here and I'm going to find out how high uh, my building is so I can I can lift uh, the, the roof appropriately so I'm lifting it a bit here and I know the building is 30.75 so I'm going to type in that specific dimension and here I can just, I've clicked on the roof, now I'll shift click on the building and click align. And again, I'll shift or I'll just click back on the building and that tells uh, Tinkercad I want to align the roof to the building, not the other way around. And I've uh, I clicked off there for a second, but I'll, do, I'll repeat the align uh, request there. And now I've aligned the roof perfectly with the building. So that would be a nice building right there. But let's say I want to get a little fancier with my building, with the roof, that is. So here I'm going to lift the roof up a little bit. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to flip it around 180 degrees. Again, if I stay in the... Uh, rotation degree circle, it does it in nice uh, easy increments that I can hit 180 pretty easily. I'm going to lower that down. Uh, I'm going to shift click so I have both roof shapes selected and then I'm going to um, grow them together so they increase proportionally. And then I'm going to click and I'm going to, I'm going to lower the top roof to that bottom roof shape. Um, and I'm going to zoom in a bit and I notice that top roof is a tiny bit, probably half a millimeter high. That'd be a problem if I wanted to 3D print this. I'll lower that down and now I've uh, got my building. I'm going to close my low battery warning. Uh, when I group it, it makes it one color, but if I then 
go to the colors and I can select a multicolor effect so I can keep my nice red arches and gray roof. So there's some quick tips on how to make buildings with Tinkercad.